Welcome back to our channel. Today we will delve into the depths of the occult world and unravel the mysteries surrounding one of the most intriguing figures in mythology, Asmodeus, the Lord of Lust. Get ready to enter a realm of forbidden desires and dark secrets. In this video, we will explore the history and symbolism behind this powerful demon, revealing the fascinating and controversial aspects of his essence. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now let's get started. Asmodeus, Unveiling the Second King of Hell Asmodeus, also known as Ashmedai in Hebrew, is considered the king of demons, with King David and the daughter of Lilith and Lucifer as his parents, according to Judeo-Arabic mythology. Asmodeus reigns over hell, second only to Lucifer in the hierarchy of demons. The names Asmodeus or Ashmedai in Hebrew mean the one who is consumed by fire. According to Kabbalah, the mystical tradition of Judaism, he is the offspring of the union between King David and Agrat Bat Malat, the daughter of Lilith and Lucifer. David was the second king of Israel and Judah, and also an ancestor of Jesus. On the other hand, Agrat Bat Malat was a female demon known as a succubus. Succubi appear in dreams and take the form of women to seduce men, usually through sexual activity. In fact, their male counterpart is known as Incubi, Asmodeus and King Solomon. According to the apocryphal books of the Bible, Asmodeus appears as the forgotten king of Sodom. It is said that Asmodeus deprived the king of his wisdom and then expelled Solomon from his kingdom, where the demon took his place. However, later Solomon regained his wisdom and then chained Asmodeus as a servant to help him build his temple, using the powerful Shamir. According to Kabbalah, the Shamir is a kind of worm that, with its secretion, was able to cut not only rock, but also metal, or even a diamond. Thus, the Shamir would be slightly smaller than a barley grain, and would be one of God's ten miraculous creations, created on the sixth day. In short, the biblical legend shows how King Solomon controlled the king of demons, Asmodeus, and the Shamir worm, whose blood can corrode the hardest substances. The legend says that Solomon was a magician who discovered how to control his workers with the demons of alchemical gaseous means and subsequent worms that are the result of such magic. Representation of the demon in the Book of Tobias Asmodeus in the Book of Tobias is attracted to Sarah, the daughter of Rachel, and is unwilling to allow any husband to possess her. Therefore, he kills seven successive husbands on their wedding nights, thus preventing the consummation of the sexual act. When the young Tobias is about to marry her, Asmodeus proposes the same fate for him. However, Tobias is aided by the angel Raphael and devises a plan to drive him away. By placing the heart and liver of a fish on hot coals, Tobias produces a smoky vapor that causes the demon to flee to Egypt, where he is captured by the angel Raphael. Asmodeus, therefore, is a demon characterized by carnal desire and is described as the evil spirit of lust. Some people believe that he prevents couples from having sexual relations and consequently, from conceiving children. Other cultures also believe that Asmodeus is responsible for forcing husbands to commit adultery and thus destroy marriages. He is a former seraphim. Seraphim are the six-winged angels often depicted surrounded by fire. According to Christian tradition, they would be the angels closest to God. Demons are considered fallen angels, that is, those who succumbed to darkness and literally fell from heaven. Asmodeus, like the demon Leviathan, would be a former seraphim. His visual representation is monstrous. The image of Asmodeus usually follows a pattern. He appears as a monstrous figure with wings and three heads. The first head is that of a man with fiery breath, and the other two are of a bull and a ram, animals associated with virility and fertility. Asmodeus can also be depicted as a sorcerer who can take the form of a spider. We explored the fascinating world of Asmodeus, the Lord of Lust, delving into his history, symbolism, and representations. From his origin as the second king of hell, born from the union of King David and Agret Bat Malat, to his relationship with King Solomon and the legend of the Shamir, we were able to grasp the complexity of this powerful demon. Asmodeus is described as the malevolent spirit of lust, engaging in carnal desires and interfering in relationships and marriages. His visual representation, with his three heads and monstrous form, evokes the terrifying nature of his temptations and influences. However, we also learned that Asmodeus is not invincible. Whether through cunning strategies as seen in the Book of Tobit, or through the wisdom and control of King Solomon, it is possible to resist his wiles 
and overcome his detrimental effects. Exploring figures like Asmodeus leads us to reflect on the darker aspects of human nature and the importance of resisting temptations that can lead us astray from the right path. By understanding the history and symbolism behind such entities, we are able to confront the challenges they represent and seek balance in our lives. We hope this video has provided you with an intriguing insight into Asmodeus and sparked your curiosity to continue exploring the mysteries of the occult world. Remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to not miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the realm of lust and dark secrets.